Um, well, kind of good morning, but yeah, I'm kind of used to it by now. And what? Are you coming or what? Good morning, Carmen. <laughs> and I'm going to be in your face because the umbrella's right here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> welcome back, Tom. Thank you for bringing the Manchester weather because I was already missing it. And welcome back, Tim, as well. Are you? Well, enjoy Diana's face while you can because today's main subject of the video is Tom's new ride, which is the BMW E46. And I already forgot. I think it's 323 or 325? 325. 325. Yes, it is. And it's very windy, so I think the whole video is going to suck, but I apologize for that in advance. Okay, first of all, why? <laughs> why? In a positive sense, obviously. It's a bad ride. <laughs> That's why. Okay. okay. Uh, because, uh, obviously, Tim's, you know, highly speaks BMWs, and we found this one. It's a perfect car for me to start in. And uh, it's red. That's it. You always want the Ferrari. Yeah, well, well yeah. It's the closest you can it's find. Close. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's close. Yeah, no, it's close. Uh, yeah, just because it's... BMW, and we like BMWs here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We do. We do, we do. And it's gonna be your first track car. It is, yeah. So we, or you and Tim mostly, I'll be just the one filming. Uh, what are the plans to it? Plans are to kind of run a club sports spec. So um, obviously rear seats going out, uh, in, well all the interior's going out apart from the dash, if it's staying, and the front carpets probably keep them because they're in good condition. Mm -hmm. um, full six point roll cage, Recaros, Harnesses, um, yeah, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension. Glitter. Yeah, the whole, the whole lot. That's your car. No. <laughs> You've got your own car for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be glitter in there. <laughs> yeah. Stain red. It was stain red. Stain red. red. Or what's the red it's color? Imola in it? red. Imola red. Which is a. I think it's a beautiful color. It's not yeah, like it's the standard special, red of the car. Yeah. It's a big, a big spec. Two and, two and a half grand red. option. Is that right? Two and a half grand option. Yeah. Mm. So, but well, how how much did you pay for this car? This car was two thousand pounds. Okay. Going, yeah. uh, I'm what's making deals here, man? Yeah. Like what's a... the mileage? The mileage is just about to clock over on a hundred thousand. So I bought what? it on, I bought it on ninety, what, 98, <laughs> So when it hits hundred thousand, we're having a massive party. Yeah. Nice. We're both invited. Oh, cool. thank, thanks. <laughs> we've got pie poppers. We've got balloons. <laughs> is the YouTube audience invited? I don't know if we can fit all them people in that. Tom, do you know what happens when you invite YouTube to your party? They nothing. Yeah, they nothing. Come. No, no. Look at, look at my birthday. We had how many people? What, like 50? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I noticed the amazing camber on the rear. Is this... Oh. That's mainly because it's laden with parts. Oh. Not a good scenario. I mean, Santa has well and truly been. Okay, let's, so. let's have a look. So. Ah! We'll... Uh, sorry, did I poke your eye out? <laughs> well, uh, what did you bring, Santa? Ducktails. What does CI stands for? Coop uh, injection or something? Cool. Cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> something cool. robot. Cool story, bro. <laughs> so, um, I mean, most importantly, we've got. And where do you want to start? Do you want to start in car parts? Or I want to start with mixer. Yeah, what's we'll up with the blender? So we've got, <laughs> if someone could hold the umbrella for me. Oh, I mean, this, this wasn't planned at all as well, which so is why it's funny. If we've, got, <laughs> we've got a Nutribullet each. Yeah. And I'd just like to thank the parents for these. Yeah, <laughs> because they recognise we're malnourished. So, <laughs> you know, we're yeah, going to hit that fire a day in one shot. Oh my truth. It's, um, I mean, it looks like... It looks like banana milkshake. Yeah, it looks like milkshake, doesn't it? Alright, got on then. <laughs> Something you trusty lid on. <laughs> That's just something else to wash up. When you blend it on the go. No, it doesn't touch it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... Come on. Imagine PVA was like, sweet. <laughs> when the orange is overpowering. <laughs> so it tastes like sweetened and flavoured glue. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he said, PVA, has the PVA glue. You can taste it. You can, you can taste the, uh, <laughs> the oats. <laughs> I 
<laughs> giving it some go on that. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I'm about to chew a smoothie. But... Oh, yours already comes with a yeah. It's mine's with a grip the, uh, and... mine's a premium yeah. spec. Oh. but his is only a six hundred. Mine's a twelve hundred. <laughs> The horsepower. Wow. <coughs> right reaction. I don't want to bomb this up everywhere. I, I just go. <laughs> it's very, very thick. That's pretty nice. Okay. That is actually pretty good. I like that. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've got more orange juice in than you. Maybe. My... Or more RPM. Exactly. Mm. There's a few factors here. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is for Diana. <laughs> nice. This is also for Diana. This is a, this is a, this is a, a stick. This is a front anti roll bar. No, sorry, this is a rear anti roll bar with brand new power flex bushes, unused and freshly powder coated. What does that mean? That you'll have the power and you'll be all flexible. And I'm all coated. Okay, That's we it. have another present for Diana. Ah! We have a rear anti roll bar. With purple. Also, brand new power flex bushes and. <laughs> Madeira violet. You thought about the color of my car. Um, this is heavy. For the next bit, I might put some gloves on. Okay. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. With my bars. Look at all the bars. Look at my bars. Yes. Look at the all the network connection. <laughs> so we have a <coughs> toe strap for Tom. It's me. Thank you. Have, oh, and here's another present. A brand new spare ABS sensor. Wow. For ABSing? Yeah. Anti bullshit. Okay. Anti bullshit sensor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is a complete rear subframe for Tom's car. Okay. So plan, Wh why? So the plan with this is obviously the car already has a subframe. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't get here. Yeah. And you will see later that we're going to drive it, kind of. So the, the, the reason we've got a spare one is so we can change all the bushes and get it powder coated and painted mm. um, prior to. Okay. This one. So it basically means we can strip this one. And put that one on. Do what on. we need to do to it. Put yeah. that one on, basically. Very good. And the same also applies for differential. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion for the color? No. Mm. <laughs> Depends what color. It'll be black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, I think Tom gets We have a differential. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The same. Because you want to be different. The same story with that one to that one. Eventually we'll have, uh, it'll be rebuilt with a different final drive ratio. Yeah. And also limited slip. Yeah, which is uh, mandatory. At kind. the moment, we're going to stay open diff. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's a long term sort of thing. Yeah. Open diff life. Yeah. As we've <coughs> proven, we can drift with an open diff. <laughs> so. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, a rear anti roll bar. Yes. So, a slightly stiffer unit to what's on the car right now. Mm -hmm. uh, another present for Diana. Yay! This is a good one. This, I mean, this, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a very good one. <laughs> Ooh. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. That's not how stuff works. The Bluetooth's not on. Because uh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to connect it to the radio. Oh man. Squash racket. Uh, Always essential. Yeah. So, for, for... Jack Wilson. Jack Wilson. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Uh, Jack Wilson. Who, whose Clio is behind us? Sorry. For everyone who's going to ask, what's up with the Clio? Some spare cool. Yeah. Cause... I, I'm very surprised how much stuff you can oh, fit in a coupe a E46 more. and you had even more like non-car parts in there as well. Oh yeah, we've got some more stuff in there as well. Was all this also in the car? Yes. Rear trailing arm. Yeah. So same same story as the uh, as the subframe. Okay. So we have two rear trailing arms, which will be uh, shot blasted, mm -hmm. powder coated and rebushed and ball jointed. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have black power flex in here, fresh roll, jo uh, the fresh roll joints, fresh wheel bearings, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Now, one thing that you haven't mentioned, these are from the 330. Yeah, these are from the 330. Is there is there a difference? Uh, the subframe is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. the roll bar is slightly stiffer. Mm -hmm. The trailing arm is exactly the same, other than the rear uh, brake mounts here. Mm -hmm. uh, because because the full, calipers are bigger. Yeah, we've got a full set of 330 calipers on this. Mm -hmm. I'll get those out shortly. When I get them. Uh, it's a big boot this. We have two upper control arms. To keep things in control. Again, these will be uh, rebushed 
you know, stripped, rebushed, rebuilt, refurbished, all that. Nice. I have two lower control arms for a E92, a certain E92. A certain E92. So, again, same story with those. I have. Hey, what does this mean, like coating? Does it mean that it gets like sandblasted or something, or like rubbed with some oils, or what? what, what, what? Uh, just a moment. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean when you say like I'm refurbishing all this and coating all this? So, uh, what do you do with it? It'll be basically sandblasted. Yeah. To get all the surface rust off. Right? Uh, can you not do that yourself? Like. Yeah. If you have that machine. Open a room with a little sandblasty. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah. Because, to be fair, how many shops are gonna put glitter on that? Like, you have to do that yourself, right? If you're yeah. doing that yourself, you can. Yeah, I think all glitter work has to be. I like how the conversation ends as soon as I say the word glitter. Everybody's yeah. like, uh huh. How am I gonna get the next one out? Do you need do you help? Me, do you want me to give you a hand? I can steer you. There we go. Left. Left. There we go. <laughs> okay. Another rear trailing up. Wait. So. The majority of what you see here all came from a fine gentleman named Ian yep. who got in touch basically to say I had a, a full spare mm -hmm. rear end. So. And now everybody's gonna either hate you or him because you're gonna mention the price. Yeah, we got a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ian. Yeah, no, I know you'll be, you'll be watching this. So, yeah, so if we did more, well, we paid £50 for. All of this here, not not the United Two. Not the United Two, but everything. But everything there. Fifty yeah. pounds. Yeah, we did well. <laughs> so thanks. We'll pay more for the round of shots for on New Year's Eve. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Welcome to Manchester. Here's one for me. This one is a E92 M3 rear subframe. And uh, for the same purpose, like yep, that so you're gonna refurbish it and then. Yeah. So this one will have. Uh, solid mounted uh, subframe mounts mm -hmm. shell uh, and then new power flex bushes here and here but obviously it'll be stripped and made nice first yep okay oh it's Rentek a wild Lucas appears yeah sorry Lucas you had your uh, fun yesterday today we're talking about BMWs <laughs> about old BMWs uh, next we have a new radiator for Tom Nice. Parts. So this is obviously brand new. So this is one of the things I always stress and we did to die in this car as well, like anything like that, mm -hmm. brand new. Yeah. Before it goes on track. So that's Wow. Shiny and new. Also it doesn't cost much, right? I no. believe those radiators. No. Yeah. And it no can so it can save lots of headache and yeah. So I've got new radiator and hoses, but they're also in the car somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think if we go on this side there. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Can't forget this. Right, now this, oh. this is going to story. Tag it out. Yeah, one thing. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Intensive German <laughs> lessons. <laughs> and believe me, intensive isn't even the word for that. We plugged it in. Yeah. The instructions were in German, so we were lost at page one. Well, before we even started. Yeah, so we don't know. Hello. <laughs> that's to be fair. That's how my maybe you could. Well, look after I that. don't want that. I my German is <laughs> flawless. <laughs> ah, stop poking me! Well, then stop going under there. Bra blue is huge. Bra blue. <laughs> how you say it in German if it's flawless? What? Still can't uh, believe. Uh, German intensity. Hagen, Hagen, Schirm. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, seriously, how two. do you get all this in here? Just a lot of patience. Hey, what's the pink stuff? What's Transmission the pink fluid. Stuff? What's the pink stuff? We it's have, a window washer uh, or something. Uh, an air conditioning belt. Okay. You can also put it on a scooter. Auxiliary belt. Uh, upper hose for the radiator. Uh, we we'll have hose. Mr. Boris likes hose. hose. <laughs> Two bottles of water sweater because we're not going to run coolant. Water wetter? What? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I had this conversation. That? <laughs> water wetter. How, <laughs> can you, how, oh, is yeah. water wet? No, water, water is not water wet. wet. Water makes wet. <laughs> Don't Physics. go into that video. <laughs> <laughs> The oil filter, many bottles of uh, dianide water. Dianide. Yep. <laughs> dianide. 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 Yeah. Dynamite. Ah, diamond. Two front brake calipers from a 330. Put those over okay. here. Just big, big pistons, uh, or yeah. what's the difference? 
Uh, well, the actual caliper itself is the same as a 325 caliper, but the yeah. carrier's bigger, so it allows you to run a bigger front disc. Okay. A set of rear calipers. I get, these are, I believe these are actually slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. But either way, they're going to refurbish and paint yeah. it before they go on the car. A new set of windscreen wipers. Oh, yeah. More bottles of distilled water. Uh, sorry, deionized water. And, um, oh, yeah, a microwave. <laughs> Obviously. Because, <laughs> you know, you've got to eat. <laughs> When you're not blending, sometimes. When you're not blending, you've got to... Uh, <laughs> um, and then there are two more boxes in the front, on the other side. Yeah. And then we have uh, a set of rear discs. Okay. Obviously brand new. Just stock or...? Uh, yeah, 330 stock discs. Okay. And then also a set of front discs. Nice. And that... And that is what you Pretty much fit. covers it. Yeah. <laughs> 46. Yeah. And I guess we all can say, uh, make sure to follow, well, stay following me, uh, follow Tom. Wait, you forgot the most important part. What? Of the car's soul. Its name, her name. What's her name? The name is Nancy. Why? Why? Because there, there's it. an N and a C in the reg. So NC, yeah. Nancy. Yeah. yeah. Just like BP. Yeah. But BP is BP. Okay. And, and yeah. I Before then, interrupting me, I said make sure to follow Tom for all the behind the scenes and also uh, annoy him with questions and not me regarding his car. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm very much looking forward to see the well the progress of the build and also doing the first laps on the track. Yeah. And yeah, today I became even more surprised how much stuff you can get for 50 pounds and also how much stuff you can fit in a 330 so it was a very educational video and we're going to finish with probably one uh answer to the question what people are going to ask why you're not running coolant we all know the answer but some people don't so so the reason we don't run coolant on track is so if there is an issue right popped radiator hose whatever we don't drop coolant all over the circuit yeah and, and people won't crash or at least well we don't, because the cars aren't run during winter anyway yeah there's absolutely no need to run coolant because it's the main purpose is you know to stop it from freezing so yeah so yeah we just run uh, water and water wetter and that's it yeah water wetter <laughs> that's exactly what it says on the tin <laughs> <laughs> makes water wetter <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cool colour oh yeah, yeah. So, mm. it is oh. <laughs> an oil oiler oh yeah that's, that's the one nice water. red line Let's probably move to the main topic yeah. of this video and talk about yeah appreciation, depreciation, all the running costs that involve regarding supercars. And I think maybe you can start. I know that it deserves a show of its own, but maybe you can start saying something that you uh, we spoke on the phone yesterday about the work and super repair running costs. 